Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith Maley along with Morgan Maley Roberts. Hello everybody. And we are glad to be with you this Saturday discussing part two of Common Myths of Remodeling. I hope that you enjoyed it last week. If not, we have it on the podcast. And where can they go to get that one? Um, you can go on to the iHeartRadio app and you will be able to listen to it and catch up on the first episode of this. Yes, we, we talked about things like um, saving money by hire, doing it yourself, hiring a handyman, hiring your unemployed brother-in-law to do the work, some warnings there, and also remodeling projects always go longer and over budget. We talked about I can't live in the house while I remodel, uh, I don't need permits or I do need permits, I need to contact the HOA or I don't need to contact the HOA. My taxes will go up if I remodel all of those myths we, we covered last week, and you'll enjoy listening to those on a podcast, or you can view it on a video. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like um, we encourage you to, to get our newsletter, and tell them how they can get that, Morgan. You can send us an email at friends at KMBuilders1 and just request to be subscribed to our newsletter, or you can go to our website, and there is a... Um, drop down box a right? pop up yep or at the bottom of our site too you can um, request to be on our newsletter that comes out every week with some really handy tips and useful information and uh, trends and so forth even projects that we're doing mm -hmm. uh, there's videos and so forth and if you would like to just keep up uh, on our website there's a new feature that you have what's called latest projects mm-hmm yeah. on our uh, remodeling section. Is it recent projects or latest projects? Latest projects, Latest I projects, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you just go check it periodically, you'll see what you haven't seen because Morgan uh, does a project or two every week because mm -hmm. we're finishing up that many projects regularly and having them professionally photographed. And they're really beautiful. They show the before and after, and some people really can't believe that they're the same project. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to figure out because we changed it so dramatically, even the walls. But it's a lot of fun to see those projects. I know all of us on our staff love to see them too. And um, we thank you for, for, for calling us for your business. We want to we dispel some more myths today. Um, the first one I'd like to start off with is start as soon as possible. That's what you want to do naturally. You want to get started right away. And you may even be tempted to go with a contractor who says he can start right away. I've had some, some really uh, you know great clients who figured out that's not um, necessarily the best thing. Even on waiting for an appointment for me to get there and meet them, they've said, yeah, I figured that if we were going to do this right, we didn't want a contractor who was going to come out there the same day because that means he's probably not busy, and they're exactly right. So typically you wait a few weeks whenever you call KM Builders to uh, get that appointment. Mm -hmm. And we really, really believe that that that's worth the wait and we make sure that that first visit is really important but when you do call you do get an appointment right on that first visit you do get an appointment it won't be for tomorrow <laughs> but you will get an appointment and Tina and Kelly there will be glad to help you when you call us at 680-5626 and so you don't want to start as soon as possible which means uh, sending somebody over the hammer and breaking the wall down or tearing those cabinets up right away um, you need to do some planning. And by the way, we don't tear stuff up like we do on those shows, really, do we, most of the time? <laughs> no, I think we we even care about how we do demo. Yeah, it's gentle. Mm -hmm. It's gentle demolition. You know, a lot of those shows are just dramatic, and that's not really the way to tear things apart anyway. Yeah. So we, we try to reuse things, too, like uh, and donate. Mm -hmm. So we want to be careful about taking out those cabinets. We don't want to just bust them into pieces. We want to give them away to someone or donate them to Habitat. And if anything can be saved on a project, that's what we're going to do. But um, it, but besides that, it makes a bigger mess when yeah. you start beating stuff up with sledgehammers. Yep. There's, a, there's a time and a place for a sledgehammer, but it's not really that often in remodeling. And by the way, a lot of contractors do not know how to carefully demo, and they end up creating a lot more work for themselves or for you and that you have to pay for. So being careful to demo it right away and have a good plan on how far we're going to cut this back, how far that eave comes back. I'll just give you an example. If you start right away without the right plan, you cut things off that you needed to save. You tear up stuff that you needed to save, and it cost you more money. Not to mention that if you don't have your plan done, starting right away means you're just going to wait in a mess 
or with a demolition in the middle of live in the middle of a demolition for a lot longer mm -hmm. so do not start right away that is not a good plan of action you need a plan and that goes right along with the the next myth is I don't need a designer we know what we want and we just need someone to build it for us that is a big mistake so not only do you need a designer you need a professional designer and many times it's what we give you which is an architectural designer and an interior designer and a cabinet designer which Gay and Mildred has multiple ones all under the same roof and that's what you really need and these designers don't just call themselves designers they are real degreed in this field mm -hmm. and so we want we want you to, to use a degreed interior designer and a degreed architectural designer and so we have several and so we have redundancy built in and we have something that you can count on it really is the way to plan it out because there are so many details and just in cabinets alone there's a lot of details and most projects bathrooms and kitchens and even living rooms sometimes have some cabinetry in them or a lot of cabinetry mm -hmm. So we have architectural designs for the, the amounts, the sizes, the widths, the complementing of your architecture, which you may not have noticed, but we, you have an architecture in your home. And you don't want that to go just by someone who's going to build something. Anybody can build a box or tear a box down or make a new box, uh, put some lipstick on a pig, <laughs> but that's not what you want. You want someone who's going to enhance your living and make it a part of your life that you will be proud of and that that will add resale value later on. Mm -hmm. Remember last week we talked about the only way your taxes are gonna go up is if you add square footage. But this will add resale value. And that is something that a lot of people are looking for when they go to remodel this. Of what will be the maximum resale value? Now that is a myth that um, you know, the, I have to, the only remodeling project that's a good one is one that's kind of, I'm going to be able to make money on it when I sell it. That's not true. Mm -hmm. If you can get close to what you paid for remodeling and you it is really done right, you're doing good. And the national statistics and studies and, and uh, um, that the Harvard study does will prove that, you know, it's, it's difficult to get all your money back in a remodel. If you get close to it, you're doing good. The main thing is to do it, um, get your money back eventually and the pleasure of living in it for a very long time. So those are some of the myths that we're going to talk about. When we go back, when we get back to the show, we're going to talk about that bid, that, that myth of getting three bids and going with the one in the middle. Is that really a good idea? But before we go, we go to the break, I want to mention my friend Joe Caccino. It really helped me a lot with my lawn this year. Uh, it looks awesome, doesn't it, Morgan? Oh, it absolutely does. Yeah, micronutrient feeding along with some synthetics at the right time but it's all done in a liquid too and the treatment of the weeds has really impressed me this year i don't have to pull any weeds look <laughs> up biogreensa.com and you'll you'll be pleased too or 421-9522 biogreensa.com we'll be right back to the km builders remodeling and design show Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan, and she's here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we are talking about common myths in remodeling, part two show. We did the first one last week, mm -hmm. and we hope you enjoyed that, and that this one gives you some more things to think about. Morgan, but we always like to do a little self-kudo here from one of our clients that raved about us. Yes. Where was this one found? This one's from Angie's List, and it was Judith Wilhelm, and she says, KM did a kitchen remodel, installed hardwood floors in family room, dining room, and hallway. They remodeled two bathrooms, repainted an entire interior, and they recarpeted the bedrooms, installed a, so installed a soft water unit, and recirculated hot water in master bath. They provided us with a huge truck to store our possessions during the remodel. I couldn't ask for a better people to work with and have in my home. They became family and were very trustworthy. My project grew larger as I keep kept wanting more as I saw what wonderful work they were doing. Keith and his team did a great job and I would highly recommend them. You can find cheaper, but if you want quality, go with KM. <laughs> well, that sounds like an advertisement. I know. <laughs> and so that, that is very, very much appreciated. Judith, and we appreciate having the opportunity to work on. You should see the photos in our 
in our um, portfolio on the Wilhelm yeah. kitchen. That is kitchen and bathrooms actually is really stunning. <clears throat> and boy, did she! I mean, you know, this is one of those those things that we talked about earlier about. Uh, I'm going to remodel so that I can get get the payback on it. They figured they were going to stay in their home, and she has a kitchen that you could not find in a home that was four times as expensive as her home. Oh, wow. I mean, it is incredible. And it was always one of my favorite kitchens, and it still is. But the way they live, the way it changed their life, the way that it changed their living, uh, they're never moving away from that home. But if they did, it will be the first seller in that neighborhood for yeah. sure. It'll be the first seller in any neighborhood uh, because it's just done so well. And and that's what that's what people get out of remodeling. It's not about always do I want to get the, the price so that I can resell it quickly. It's about enjoying it and then doing it quality and people will pay you whenever you whenever you do it right. And so it typically takes about 25 to 30 percent more to do it the right way, but that's how you're going to get the best resale. Um, that's one of the myths that I that I believe in is out there that oh you only want to spend so much on your kitchen remodel and it's usually less than what really really is the real kitchen remodel and <laughs> uh, and that's not what people want they don't want it to just be a facelift yeah facelifts in resale and is is a myth people don't don't pay you they just not turned off they just won't they just won't take away the value of your home mm-hmm. on a facelift. But what they're not going to do is pay you for a remodeling project because they're still going to have to remodel if it's an old style kitchen and it has a bad layout. Yeah. So that's another myth that I that I think is really out there. I, I buy a home every now and then and sell it and I would not never do just a facelift on something that needed a fundamental change. Knock out that wall, do it right, change those cabinets up if they if they need remodeling, then do it. Some mm-hmm. ki- some kitchens can can their cabinets can be painted, but but if it's if it's got a bad layout, then you need to start over. You yeah. just need to start over. The the countertops and the backsplash are not going to cut it. Yep. And so if you don't have that layout, then change it. Uh, the other myth we wanted to talk about was get at least three bids and go with the one in the middle. <laughs> How many times have we heard that one? Yeah. Everybody's heard it. You need to get at least three bids. Um, so so does that mean that that's going to be they're going to be good bids? Does that mean? That do you want to go with the high bid, the low bid? Well, everybody pretty much says I shouldn't go with the low one, I know, and I don't want to go with the high one, so I'll go with the one in the middle. <laughs> so, if you were buying a car, would you just go with average? Just pick the one in the middle, uh, you know, just pick three different brands of cars and go with the one right in the middle, or, or are you looking for certain things when exactly. you buy? <clears throat> are you looking for quality? Is uh, quality priced right in the middle? If it's true high-end quality that you want, the you want good customer service, is good customer service priced right in the middle? No. No. You can <laughs> see what what that buys you at the at, at a store. You can see what it buys you with clothes. You can see what it buys you with a car. Uh, you can see what it buys you at a restaurant. Are you going to get really good customer service when it's priced kind of like in the middle, kind of average? Do we just want average on our remodel? Do we just want average on our service? That uh, do we just want an average steak when we go buy a steak? <laughs> I mean, it really is sad to think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to just settle for average whenever we're going to do a major project in our home. And it doesn't matter whether it's a small project in your home; you're still going to spend twenty thousand on one of the smaller remodeling projects. We'll probably be in the twenties. And that's that's a lot of money spent for customer service and for quality products and quality installation. And if you have settled yourself just to go with the average, you are going to be setting yourself up for a major disappointment. So that old phrase of get three bids and go with the one in the middle is not really working. People, as you've heard, do that all the time. But guess what you also hear? People are always dissatisfied. So why would you think that that process would really desert, you know, give you the results you're looking for? Mm-hmm. Well, a much better way to go would be to pick a contractor who is transparent and one that has a great process that you like. And um, so a lot of people think that, that contractors, all, price, all their prices are way, they, they price the same project way different. And, and that is not true. You know, pick, pick a contractor who has a good process first. 
And then you're going to find out what I always say is that those three different prizes you're getting are not the same project. It'd be like calling up, um, a, getting numbers from three different dealers, looking at three different ads in the paper, or and saying there's a truck for sale for thirty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this one. There's an ad for for fifty thousand. Look, I just called another dealer and they have a truck. I just saw one on the lot and it's eighty thousand. <laughs> the they're all the on, same color. But they're all the same color. They're all blue trucks, <laughs> or in my case, white trucks. Yeah. But um, what's the difference? They're not the same truck. Yep. So the same is true when you tell a contractor you want a kitchen remodel. Yeah. Or you want a room addition. Each one of them is giving you a number for a different model truck. They don't know the details of how you're going to use it, what what your family's like, what type of selections you want. What just your like taste what is. What your taste is. They don't know the nuances of how they're going to tie that in or what, what the plumbing is or the electrical is. So they don't have any of this information. So they're all giving you a different price for a different project. Yep. And that's the same like going to a dealer and getting a price for a different truck. One's a four-wheel drive, one's not. One's a diesel, one's not. One's an F-350, one's an F-150. It's all a different project. There's not three different prices for the same truck. It's three different prices for three different trucks. And the same is true. Contractors... Do not charge these hugely different prices for the same project. They are usually not that much difference. But that's what people think because they're not they're talking about a different project. And it is the details that make all the difference. We're going to talk about some of the other myths in remodeling when we come back, but I want to mention my friends who don't play those games either at NorthParkLexus at Dominion.com. That is where you should go for your next SUV or car. Uh, what a great a lineup and what great service. I don't want average service. My wife doesn't want average service. We want stellar service, and that's where we get it at North Park to Lexus at Dominion, 816-6000 or NorthParkLexus at Dominion.com. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about common myths and remodeling part two. Last week we had the part one. Uh, a lot of good stuff brought out there from permits to who should, how should you hire, who should you hire, going over budget, can you live in the house, all of those things were on that part one. You can catch that on our podcast at iHeart. And you can also view videos of the shows. Mm-hmm. And Morgan does a good job of keeping up with all the social media that we do. And there's a lot of it. And we also have a uh, newsletter we'd like you to subscribe to to keep up with it all. And that's KM Builders, friends at KM Builders 1. Friends at KMBuilders.com. <laughs> oh, because you said one last time. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said friends at KM Builders 1. And I was like, hmm, I haven't heard that for a while. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you'll have to didn't go check it to. on the recording. <laughs> Friends at kmbuilders.com. There yes. you go. Great. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> so we the last one we just talked about was, uh, oh, we got to go into us trending mm -hmm. with Morgan. Yeah. This one's a little controversial, and I'm not sure if I like this, but I have been seeing it. In the 80s, you know, we were seeing so many shells. Everybody was wearing shells. They put it in their homes. Their furniture looked like shells. Remember, we went to that restaurant in Vegas, and I said all of the booths look like shells. Uh -huh. And it's coming back. They're making chairs and decorations and things to put in your home with seashells or the shape of shells with velvet pillows or mm -hmm. chairs. So I don't know, but that's what's Maybe. trending. It's a little weird. There's one with the Fibonacci sequence there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. I, of course, it's limited in its uh, what kind of decor you can use it in. Yeah. What kind of designs, but that's a, a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Well, anything in nature is never going to go out completely. Yeah. And even just some shells in... in uh, like a hanging... Yeah, I like that. On the I like wall. the hanging shells and mm -hmm. so forth that are invisibly hung and suspended. Mm -hmm. So a little a little nautical, a little uh, beach, or the real classic, like you said, that was like a 1920s style restaurant. Yeah, that was or cool. Or 30s, I guess it was. 19, 1940s. It was 1940s, mm -hmm. yeah. That was Lowry's in uh, Vegas. Yeah. 
to the velvet mm-hmm. pillow. And shells. it could be done with subtle touches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're beautiful though. Mm-hmm. Seashells are just gorgeous, and anything related to it is pretty too. Um, so we were talking about the contractor pricing uh, in the last segment there, that they all that they price way different. And that is true sometimes, but usually respectable contractors are going to be pretty close in their bids because that's only if they're bidding, though, the same thing. And if you told them the same thing. Yeah, (laughs) well, and and even then, when you tell them what you think you told them is not enough. Yeah. It's not enough detail. So there might be bidding. One person is going to give you uh, the lower version of that. So it's a truck without all the extras. Mm-hmm. And then the other one's going to say, well, I know maybe maybe one like K and Builders will say, I know they're going to use it for hauling and towing and they're not going to be happy. So I'm going to tell them what they're really going to need to hear. Now, sometimes we lose the opportunity to bid the job because we're being straight with you about what it really cost. Mm-hmm. And they tend to think, well, we're more expensive. And I tell them we are not going to be more expensive for the same quality that you want. Quality for quality, no one beats our price. And we're not price competitive, we just are very efficient. We're not fighting on price, we're fighting on quality. Mm -hmm. We want to show you what you really need and and help you to see that you're not going to be satisfied with something that is less. And so we want to educate you and be honest with you and transparent with you at the beginning. One thing is, is another kind of related myth, though, is that all contractors pay the same amount for everything. And I know for a fact that we are paying 14 to 18 percent less for our lumber That's than a lot awesome. of our contractors, uh, com- you know, our competitors, mm-hmm. because we're part of the Texas Custom Builders Guild, which is um, part owner of a co-op. And being part of that, that was a big undertaking to be part of a co-op. And it is huge. And so very few people can compete with us on that level because together with my partners, we are between the second and the third largest builder by volume. In the in the San Antonio area, I mean that's competing with the with the really big builders like B R Horton yeah. as far as combined uh, annual revenue, which means like uh, last ninety days we spent one point five million just in lumber, and in that 90 days. And, and that rendered us a, a savings of almost eighteen percent for compared to what K M builders would normally spend. So we have a built in advantage, and we do not pay the same as most other contractors, not only in lumber but a lot of other products like hardy plank siding. Um, also, we're dealers for many products like Eldorado cabinets, Stone. Eldorado Stone, Milgard windows, Western mm-hmm. windows and doors. We are dealers for tile and flooring. So we don't pay the same as we would pay uh, like a lot of contractors do. They go through a middle person, uh, a dealer, to get their products and they have to pay that middleman markup. Mm-hmm. Now, we're not going to charge you any less percentage-wise on profit than other contractors are. But, and, and our overhead may be just a little bit higher, but where you're saving it back is in the fact that we buy at a lower rate. Because we are large, we're the largest full-service remodeler in San Antonio, like number four in the state. And we are the largest dealer for the largest cabinet manufacturer in the world. And we are part of a buying co-op. So that is a myth that we all pay the same. So what we're hoping to do is bring more service and more of an infrastructure and more organization and efficiencies to you at the same cost. If we can get it lower, that'd be great. But we're doing it by being com- being large and having a very competitive buying point. Mm-hmm. And so we, do- we don't feel we charge as much profit as a lot of other companies do. Uh, but we tend to make a little less because we're putting more into it for you. Um, now let's go ahead and go to our sponsor before we go to the, new, the, the next break. I did want to mention Legacy Heating and AC Services. They too are similarly built like us. They really put it into the customer service, the detail and the education of the client. They have been our reliable AC company for a very long time. My friend Chad Briggs at Legacy Heating and it's uh, LegacyServicesAC.com or call them at 830-608-8000. I'd highly encourage you to get acquainted with their products and their service, LegacyServicesAC.com. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello. And we are 
catching the last part of our Common Myths of Remodeling Part 2. We're glad you could be with us this today and we hope you're enjoying it. We covered uh, numerous topics and you can always go back to KM Builders uh, podcast on iHeartRadio and that will catch you up on all of them. And we will be, some of the things we've discussed today were, I need to start right away, that that's something that is really a bad idea you need to plan. I don't need a designer. You really do need a designer, <laughs> believe me. Uh, there's a big difference in how the project's going to turn out and whether it's going to have the value that you want if you don't. Get at least three bids and go with the one in the middle. A big, big myth. That's just average and you don't want just average. Contractors price way different for the same project. That's not true either. They're probably all pricing a different project and you don't know the difference between what they're pricing because they haven't told you yet. Mm -hmm. But they're not the same project. Uh, all contractors pay the same. We can show you that that is not true. And if you're going to pay the same for me as KM Builders or someone else, then there's going to be more built into what you're doing with what we're going to be giving you. Yeah. So because we do pay less for our products and even a lot of our labor because they're in-house employees. And so... Um, the, the next one I want to discuss was you need to have all your ducks in a row before calling a contractor. That's a common myth that I have to have everything planned out. I've got to know everything I want to do first before I call someone out. You don't? No. No. In fact, I encourage you not to go so far deep down that rabbit hole that uh, without professional guidance. Because what can happen is, is you go down a certain pathway thinking it's the right, uh, they're going to work for you. And then when I get there, I show you why, I tell you what that's going to cost and, and what's involved in that. And you didn't realize it. And then you already have your heart set on it. You have your heart set on it. Maybe even a lot of time and you've been waiting and now you think you really know what you want and you put all this energy into it. Maybe research, maybe, maybe even buying some products. Yeah. But it's not the route that's going to deliver the results. And a professional can guide you on that very early. So I always offer my services very early on. Say, so even if you're just thinking about remodeling, give us a call at 680-5626, and I'll come out and visit you. Mm -hmm. And we can get in the early stages of it. I've met people that we didn't that we met years again later because they help, it helped them to make a decision about the home they were going to buy, that they didn't buy or the one they were going to sell mm -hmm. or the one they wanted to remodel and they ended up selling it and getting something else because it was going to be too much. And we don't care. Whatever you need to do after you get that information is up to you. But we want to be, and I particularly want to be a resource for you so that you can make a good decision. I know that you'll remember us later whenever you are ready to remodel and you'll always want to do something in your home and we'll be there for you to do it with. But don't wait too long to give that call. You do not have to have all your money lined up. We do not screen you at KM Builders and say, uh, do you have your loan there? Do you, you know, how much are you willing to spend? We don't drill you on the phone mm -hmm. like that to get to get that to you. So we, we want to, I actually want to come out and find out what's really best for you. And you can't do that on the phone. You need to see the home. You need to under, tell people what, what really is involved, explain it, and then they understand where the money's coming from and what decision they need to make. Mm-hmm. So I really think it's a mistake to wait too long to consult a professional. And you're just thinking about remodeling, give us a call, let us help you to, so you can go through the next steps with, with knowledge. Yeah. And not waste a lot of energy. Because one of the main reasons that people do not remodel is they get overwhelmed. And it is easy to get overwhelmed with so much information out there today and if you don't have professional guidance at the beginning, you're going to probably go in a direction that you wouldn't. I know one of the, um, I'll just use Leslie as an example, at, at Frost Bank. She was heart set on, on remodeling that home. Really? And, and she deals with you know so many remodeling projects. You would think if anybody knew that she wants to remodel her home, it would be Leslie. She deals with <laughs> realtors. She yeah. deals with uh, neighborhoods. She knows values. She knows contractors, including KM Builders. But I went out there and gave her an overview of what it would cost to do the things she was doing and pointed out things with her home, and she sold the home. Really? Yeah, they sold it and said that wasn't the right home for them after they saw what it was really going to take. 
and she was fooling herself a little bit about what was going to be the look and how it was going to be if she only went so far. So she really needed to hear it from another source, and that's what I gave her, the truth. And that's mm-hmm. what you need. You call me out, I'm going to tell you the truth, and I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. It's not always what you want to hear in some cases, but it's what you need to hear that you may have wondered or didn't even know. And that's why we think that you should call us out early. It's not about selling you a project, not about getting started right away. It's about good planning, and it's about being honest and having building a relationship. That relationship may not take off for, for a couple of years, but when you're ready, we'll be ready also. Yeah. And so we, we would love to do your remodeling work. We would love to recommend you and show you how you can get the most money back if you remodel in a quality way. And a lot of people feel that that's, that that's not possible, that if I spend a little more, I'm not going to get it back. That is one of the biggest myths. You spend a little more, you're more likely to get it back. Not a whole lot more, but a little more, and you get it back because people think I don't have to touch it. So that's one of the myths, too. And, and if you don't get that, if you get these contractors who know that they're going to try to win you by low price, you're not going to get that honest assessment of what it takes to, number one, enjoy the, the project for the rest of the life of the home and as long as you're in it. And you may change your mind about moving afterward, like a, a lot of clients have. Mm-hmm. But you're also, when you finally do it right, and you do sell it after many years maybe, you're going to get all the money back that you invested in it. So remember, you're not, you're not just pooping off this money on yourself and, and uh, wasting it. It is going from one part of your portfolio to another and it will pay you back when it's done professionally, when it's done by professional designers and a professional installer design build firm like KM Builders. There is a big difference in contractors not all contractors are the same and a design build contractor quality design build contractor like KM Builders does not necessarily have to cost you more in fact we believe for the same quality for quality no one's going to beat our price we really really want to help you not make a mistake and um, I didn't get my boots last weekend but I am going to go now and get my boots at Billy's Western Wear they're a great supporter of me and my footwear and my western wear <laughs> and i appreciate oh, greg white and his family that own that business in kerrville and in bernie they're right in bernie it's the best western store ever i've ever been into and we hope that you enjoyed the show and that you look us up and give us a call at 680-5626 or just log on to kmbuilders.com and we can set up an appointment and i'll come see you personally and we thank you for what listening to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. Remember, you could have someone else remodel your home, but then you'd have to live in it.